So 2.3, um, I don't love the wording that they use in the book for the question, but basically what they're asking is um, to find this SZ operator when, when applied to the uh, X spaces. So before we did, we, we found the SX operator when acting on the Z basis, um, and now we're kind of doing the other way around. So um, we know this is going to end up being two different things. So SZ for the up in X is equal to H bar over 2 up, and SZ when acting on the down in X is going to be negative H bar over 2 down. So we just need to find that SZ. Um, so we'll do the same way that we did before. We'll assume that this SZ has the form of K, A, B, C, D. These operators will be two by two. And then we're going to apply that to our, we'll do the up first, up and our X. So remember up in X is equal to one over root two up plus one over root two down. Uh, in a matrix form, that is, uh, we pull out the 1 over root 2, we have 1, 1. So we'll do that right here. So 1 over root 2, 1, 1. Okay, and that's going to be equal to a positive h bar over 2 up. Or we'll write it in matrix notation. I write this like a fraction. 1, 1. Okay, so. Um, and I don't want to forget that. I forgot that last video. Um, whatever root two. Okay. So, uh, we'll pull out our K and one over root two. We'll have A plus B and we'll have C plus D. That's going to equal H bar over two, one over root two, one and one. Okay. So then we know that our K is equal to H bar over two. Our A plus B is equal to 1, and our C plus D is equal to 1. All right, so that was for the up direction. So now let's try down, and down is going to be 1, negative 1. Um, and this is going to end up being negative H bar, uh, 1, negative 1. And um, yeah, I'll keep it like that for right now. So pull out the K. 1 over root 2, we have 1 times a is a, negative 1 times b is negative b, 1 times c is c, negative 1 times d is negative d, and that's equal to, okay, so it was equal to negative h bar uh, over 2, 1 over root 2, 1 negative 1, but we already said that our k is going to be positive h bar over 2, so um, what this would have been, uh, again, I did this last video, but in case you didn't watch that one, um, is 1 over root 2, um, and let's say negative h bar over 2, positive h bar over 2. All right, and if you pull out a negative h bar, if you pull out a negative h bar, then you get uh, negative h bar uh, 1, negative 1. And that's what our um, 1, negative 1 is what our um our down state looks like for, for x um, so that's kind of what we wanted to look like but that doesn't match our k so instead of pulling out a negative h bar over two um, let's just pull out a positive h bar over two which will leave us with a negative one and one so we'll make this a positive h bar over two and flip the signs all right so now we have the form of h bar over 2, 1 over root 2, negative 1, and 1, which means that a minus b is equal to negative 1, and c minus d is equal to positive 1. All right, now we can combine these. So um, if we combine these two, we have 2a, and 1 minus 1 is going to be 0. So we know that a is equal to 0. And if a is equal to 0, then b has to be 1. Uh, for our C's and D's, combine those. Uh, we have 2C is going to be equal to 1 plus 1 is 2. So that means C equals 1. And if C equals 1, then D has to equal 0. Which means um, our K is H bar over 2. 
and a is 0, 1, 1, 0. And that's going to be our SZ operator. Okay, and then it says to find the uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Uh, I'm going to write this over here. So SZ h bar over 2, 0, 1, 1, 0. So it's to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix. And then just check to make sure that the eigenvalues match up to what we expect for the uh, x direction. Um, so I can go ahead and get rid of, I can get rid of all this now. Okay, so again, so to get the eigenvalues, we want to take the determinant, determinant of SZ minus lambda i. And that should equal zero. And we're going to be solving for lambda there. So um, our lambda times the identity matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, 1, is going to equal um, lambda 0, 0, lambda. All right. And then so if we do SZ minus this, then we have our SZ, which is uh, h bar over 2. Um, and actually, let's go ahead and, uh, again, like I did the last video, put the h bar inside of the matrix this time. Um, so we're going to have um, at 0, h bar over 2, h bar over 2, 0. Um, and we won't do determinant yet because we do need to do minus, minus this. Um, so we're going to get uh, negative lambda h bar over 2. Uh, h bar over 2 and minus lambda. Put the minus sign right there. So that's what we're doing. All right. Now we want to take the determinant of this. Determinant again is uh, multiply this minus multiply that. Uh, and that's going to equal 0. So uh, negative lambda times negative lambda is going to be positive lambda squared minus h bar over 2 squared equals 0. Uh, lambda squared equals h, h bar over 2 squared, which means our lambda is going to equal plus or minus h bar over 2. So those are going to be our two eigenvalues. Okay, and then the last thing that we need to do is find the eigenvalues. And we can do that by applying our operator. So our SZ operator is h bar over 2, 0, 1, 1, 0. Apply that to some, some vector, a and b. And what we should get when we apply this, this operator, as long as we did it right, um, we should get out our eigenvalue. So first one is going to be positive h bar over 2. And then our same vector back. Um, so yeah, so you apply this this vector, I mean this operator to this vector, and we should get an h bar over 2 out of it with our original vector. So um, we have um, over here, we have h bar over 2, um, a times 0 is 0 b times 1 is b. Um, and then we have top, a times 1 is a, and b times 0 is 0. So that should equal h bar over 2, a and b. All right, so that means that b is equal to a, and a is equal to b. And this looks a lot like last video. Uh, a squared plus b squared equals 1. Um, and because we know that a is b and b is a, we can swap out either of these variables. I'll keep a plus. And we know that b is the same thing as a, so we can put another a in here equals 1. Uh, we have 2a squared equals 1. a squared equals 1 half. And a is going to equal to 1 over root 2. Um, and then b is going to be equal to 1 over root 2. Uh, so this first matrix, this a and b, 
is going to be um, h bar over 2. We can't forget that. It's still there. Or actually, no, the h bar over 2 is our eigenvalue. Um, so that's not part of the actual vector. Um, the vector itself is going to be 1 over root 2, 1, 1. Both a and b are 1 over root 2. Uh, so that's going to be our first eigenvector. The second eigenvector is going to be um, with the eigenvalue h bar or negative h bar over 2. So if you apply this operator to some vector, another thing that you can get out is a negative h bar over 2. Uh, it wasn't 2. And then that same, same vector. So let's see what we need to do to get that one out. Um, so we have um, a times 0 is 0, b times 1 is b. We have b. We still have an h bar over 2 here. Um, and then we have a times 1 is a, and b times 0 is b. So that's going to equal negative h bar over 2, um, a, and b. Um, so if we're not careful here, we could say that b equals a again and a equals b, but these aren't the same. Um, so we, would, we want to make them the same. We could either like um, put the h bar over 2s into the, into the matrix. Um, there's a few different ways that we could do this, kind of just showing um, different options here. You know, uh, this is just about done. We could just finish this up, but I'll kind of just show a couple things. We could do uh, h bar over 2a and h bar over 2b uh, is equal to negative h bar over 2a and negative h bar over 2b. And then we know that, um, what did I just do here? This should have been b and a. Uh, so then we would know that uh, h bar over 2b equals negative h bar over 2a. If we divide both sides by uh, h bar over 2, we would have b equals negative a. And same thing down here. So h bar over 2a equals negative h bar over 2b. Divide both sides by h bar over 2 again. Um, and then a equals negative b. Um, so there's a few different ways that we could have done done this. Um, the way I like to do it is just make our outside terms match. Um, so I would make that positive and make these two negative. Um, and then we could see that b equals negative a. Uh, b, but again, equals negative a, and a equals negative b. Okay. So then, uh, same thing in the last video again. So we have a squared plus b squared equals 1. Um, a squared equals, so b is the same thing as negative a. I did that last time too. Uh, negative a squared plus 1 is absolute value, so the negative will cancel out. Um, and we'll have 2a squared equals 1. Uh, a squared equals 1 half. a equals 1 over root 2. And if a equals 1 over root 2, b has to equal um, negative 1 over root 2. So then our other eigenvector would be uh, negative 1 over, uh, or sorry, 1 over root 2, uh, 1, negative 1. Or we can write this um, 1 over root 2, negative 1 over root 2 also. Uh, these two would be the same thing. Anyways, so um, just to recap, here was our SZ operator that we found. Those were the two eigenvalues from that matrix, and these are the two eigenvectors when, um, when, a, when applying the operator with these eigenvalues. So anyways, very similar to 2.2, but hopefully that all made sense.